My name's David Clausen. I'm the Finance Director for Dare County. Within the county, we do a five-year capital improvements plan every year. Capital improvements plan is a long-range plan to create a list of prioritized capital projects by going through board review and approval can reflect the board's goals and objectives. The capital improvements plan is funded by a local 1% realty transfer tax. 35% of that goes to all the towns within the county and 65% goes to Dare County and it has to be used for capital projects. My name is Sheila Davies. I am the Director of the Department of Health and Human Services and the Public Health Director for Dare County. The Department of Health and Human Services has recently received a notification of funding for two capital improvement project requests. The first is for this fiscal year and it's $50,000 to do a study that looks at what our needs are with our space to accommodate the services that we deliver to the community. So it will look at that staffing ratio and where we are with putting people and then programmatically what space we need to deliver the services. The second request that was funded is a $2 million construction uh, request. And so based on the outcome of the study and what things are identified in the study, we then have money set aside to either reconfigure space or address space needs. The funding of those requests really enable us to ensure that we're gonna deliver the best possible services in the best possible manner to those in our community. I'm Russ Kaganis, I'm the Facilities Director for Dare County Schools, and this year we had lots of projects that were presented to the county in our CIP plan, and all of them were funded. And that's a big part of operation and keeping up our infrastructure within the county. We have some very large facilities, schools that house all of our students and staff. A couple of those projects were Manio High School's roof replacement, chiller replacement at First Flight Middle School, HVAC software and hardware upgrades, along with uh, rooftop replacements at Cape Hatter Secondary School. This funding is important because it keeps our facilities going. We need a roof over our heads, we need air conditioning in our building. We're greatly appreciative that uh, the county sets the money aside to take care of their uh, the schools within their district. My name is Jenny Collins and I'm the Chief of Dare County EMS. One of the things that we were funded in our capital improvement program is for the introduction of mobile data computers and automatic vehicle locators. Instead of calling them by radio to see who's closest to a call to find out their exact location, they can quickly look over at their computer screen on a map and determine which unit is closer. Therefore, it reduces response time to that particular incident. This project is exciting for us to be able to put into a proposal and have the Board of Commissioners and County Administration support this project and the funding of it and recognize the importance in public safety delivery that it's going to provide. I'm Bobby Alton. I'm the Dare County Manager. In our CIP, we, we do uh, all the capital improvements and so our plan prioritizes both county projects and Board of Education projects together so that we can plan the funding. By statute, we're required to fund certain of the capital projects for the Board of Education, and so that's how the plan works. Two exciting plans that we have that are solely Dare County projects are our, our, our animal shelter uh, and our College of the Albemarle project uh, in Manio. To be funded by uh, the county here to support our community colleges is just enormous. Uh, we are so happy we were able to participate in into this planning for the future for our students here. Right now we're situated, we have two different locations and our buildings are antiquated. When I talk about a real campus, I'm talking about uh, one site, new technology, uh, and the opportunity for students to stay on campus and to do their work. We are very fortunate that the current capital improvement plan is allocating funds for a new shelter. You know, we are in a 40-year-old county-owned building, so we love this place. We've saved a lot of animals here. You know, we've made the best of this facility for a number of years, but it is definitely time for an upgrade. We are looking forward to you know, opening a new shelter alongside with the county that's inviting to the public and provides a great space for the animals of Dare County. The current plan covers 2019 through 2023. We're looking forward to these projects and how they will help our community.